Hello, in this video I'll demonstrate how to compute the z-score and provide an example of an application of the z-score. We begin with the problem. It says Jerry is taking an online English class and an online art history class. He scores an 85 on his first essay in the English class and a 79 on his first art history exam. So I've created a table where we can keep track of the information. So for English, Jerry scored an 85. And for art history, he scored a 79. Now it states the average of all the essays. Let me correct that here. For, for the English class, is 78 with a standard deviation of 2.2. So we put 78 for the average, 2.2 for the standard deviation. Let's center this information. The average of the exams for the art history class is 71 and the standard deviation is 3.5. Now it's asking, in which assessment does Jerry have a higher ranking? Well, we have two sets of data that have different units. One data consists of essays. Another consists of exams. And these exams could be multiple choice, fill-in questions, and short responses. Thus. If we try to compare them directly, it's like comparing apples and oranges. So what we need to do is convert to a standard score, also known as the z-score, which we can then compare. And the z-score formula is this formula here. It's the data value minus the mean divided by standard deviation. So let's calculate Jerry's score it's 85 minus 78 divided by 2.2. And let's go ahead and round that to two place values. So Jerry's score for Z score for the English class is 3.18. What this means is that his essay score is 3.18 standard deviations above the mean. Now, for the art history score, we take 79 minus 71 divided by 3.5. And if we round that, we have 2.29. So we can see that Jerry has a higher Z score for the English class. Thus, we can type out that Jerry. Um, has a higher ranking on his English assessment. And so that's how we would, first of all, calculate these z-scores and then use them to compare the ranking between two data values or two variables with different units. Thanks for watching the video.